The next step in configuring WordPress settings is your permalinks, and this one is extremely important to get right. It's important for search engine optimization or SEO purposes especially. So let's go take a look, and I'll tell you why um, I suggest that you change your permalinks to this particular setting that I'm about to tell you. So you're in your dashboard, go to settings, choose permalinks, and by default, WordPress um, sets your permalink at this post ID number, which is great from a database perspective and um, from like a server and retrieval perspective, but it's horrible from a from an SEO perspective. As are the next three options: um, day and day and name. It's better than the first. Month and name is again better than the first, but it's not ideal. Numeric is just as bad as the first. So we always choose a custom structure. And the custom structure is as follows. It is slash parentheses post name, not parentheses, percentage sign, post name, percentage sign, hyphen, percentage sign, post underscore ID, percentage sign, and forward slash. Let me tell you the reasoning. First of all, from an SEO perspective, search engine optimization perspective, the search engines really like it when your URL contains your keywords. It's been proven time and time again, and it's further been proven that your keywords towards the front end of the URL is better than your keywords at the back end of the URL. So the closer you can get your keywords, which in this case is your post name, because hint, hint, as you name your posts, you're thinking of the keywords that you want to target and you're using those keywords in your post. So that post name becomes your post title which becomes your permalink or at least part of your permalink. Now the part after the hyphen, the post ID, that is to help us and to help WordPress figure out when we make a duplicate um, post, and by duplicate I mean it has the same post name. For example, I do this all the time. I may write an article that's called, you know, six ways to increase your email list size. And then six months later, I'll write another post that has exactly the same title, different content, but the same title. Now, if I gave both of them the same title and I did not have this permalink structure, let's say for example I just had post name, WordPress would get a little confused and it wouldn't really know what to do with that uh, as far as assigning a permalink. It would actually just assign a permalink post name hyphen two if I made another one hyphen three if I made another one hyphen four. In this case, what it does is it takes that post ID, which is inherent to the WordPress database that's on the back end that you rarely ever see, and it uses that post ID. Same difference, but this um, is, is a much better custom permalink structure from an SEO perspective for your website. Then click Save Changes, and you're done.